Now, with the number of cases of COVID-19 increasing every day here in Maine, with schools shut down and some businesses starting to close, a lot of people are on edge, including children. New Center Maine's Shannon Moss talked with a child behavioral specialist today. Shannon joins us now with more on what she's found. Shannon. Well, Pat and Amanda, yes, I spoke with a clinical leader at Maine Behavioral Healthcare in Portland, and we talked about just how unprecedented this pandemic is. I mean, it's not often I'm reporting live from my kitchen in my home, but as we talked about, our field crews at New Center Maine have decided it's best for us to stay out of the newsroom, so this is sort of our new normal right now. But the new normal is stressful for everybody, including children. And what this clinical leader told me is there's three things that parents really need to keep in mind. And that is to make sure that you talk to your child, give them facts and information, make sure they know they are safe and also practice what you preach. Rebecca Hoffman Francis has a pretty good idea of how some kids in Maine are feeling right now. Anxious and scared, which would be a very normal reaction to this um, pandemic. Hoffman Francis is a clinical leader at Maine Behavioral Health Care in Portland who oversees programs for kids with trauma. It's important for parents to determine what kids know about this. She says parents can find that out by asking open ended questions. We don't want to lead them into feeling a certain way, but we do want to find out what's going on for them and how they understand this. Hoffman Francis says the best ways to support your child is to take the time to talk with them about COVID-19. Reassure your child or teenager that they are safe. Limit their exposure to news coverage. Keep up with regular routines and schedules and be a role model. We need to be practicing taking care of ourselves. We need to be practicing washing our hands and social distancing and showing kids by our own doing what what they should be doing. She says this extended time at home also gives parents a chance to teach their children what it is to be a great citizen. To think and care about our neighbors, especially those that are older or vulnerable to this disease is the best possible lesson we can teach our kids. And in talking about this uncharted territory for all of us, particularly parents, some who are still you know, having to work or working from home, some finding themselves as impromptu school teachers. Another piece of advice that I got that I thought really resonated with is parents, try not to put too much pressure on yourselves to do everything perfectly. And remember, we're always taught to, to you know, treat everyone with, with kindness. Well, make sure you treat yourself with kindness as well.